How good would Babe Ruth be if he played in today's baseball? We took Babe Ruth and implemented him into today's baseball with the Yankees. With adding Ruth to the Yankees squad, this team is a legit contender. And we weren't shy with those Babe Ruth stats. They were juiced. Team-wise, this season didn't start well. The Yankees started 4-4 four and four in their first eight, but at least Babe was looking great. His OPS through the first eight was 1,100 plus. It was insane, but his pitching wasn't the best. We fast forward to the All-Star break. Babe easily makes the team with 30 plus home runs, 70 plus RBIs, and still an OPS well above 1,100. Absolutely insane. And his pitching stats didn't let down either. Barely ERA above three and already 144 strikeouts. And obviously his co-captain and Aaron Judge as well made the All-Star game. They were putting up insane seasons. We fast forward to the end of the year. The Yankees end up with the one seed in the playoffs, finishing with over 104 wins. Insane. On top of that, Ruth won almost any award imaginable. He won the Cy Young, MVP, Hank Aaron, batting title, Rookie of the Year, as well as Silver Slugger. Any award was his. Jumping into the playoffs, their first matchup was the LA Angels. And we head to Yankee Stadium with Babe Ruth on the mound. And he was an absolute wagon, throwing eight innings with only two earned. Not only that, he hit an absolute tank in the bottom of the third to get the Yankees on the board and give them that 1-0 lead to start off the game hot. The Yankees ended up holding this lead and getting the W. They went into Game 2 with a 1-0 series lead. Game 2 was the Battle of the Aces with Rodon for the Yankees and Otani for the Angels. Otani got the best of Ruth in the first with getting him to pop out to left. But like always, Babe comes through hitting a solo shot in the bottom of the fourth. He hit this off Otani, who is also one of the best two-way players ever to exist. Kinda ironic. But that solo shot was the only offense for the Yankees, and they end up falling 2-1 to one to the Angels, heading back to LA. Game 3 was pivotal. Both sides were tied 1-1, one one, and whoever won this game would have a huge upper hand advantage going into Game 4. The two pitchers were Reed Detmers and Garrett Cole for the Yankees. Jumping in at the 5th, we see that Babe Ruth is in fact human, actually striking out for once. Kind of insane. But then again in the 7th, he hits another home run. Three home runs in the series, one for every game. This dude is absolutely insane. Would this be happening in real life if he played today? The Yankees hold on to this lead and win 6-1, taking the series lead over the Angels 2-1 and looking like they could close it out within these next two games. On the brink of elimination, the Angels had to win this next game, but there was one man standing in their way. The Great Bambino. By the top of the second though, this game was already almost put away, with the Yankees leading 5-2. Babe didn't do anything absolutely insane this game, but the Yankees got the W and were moving on to the next round. In this next round, we would face the Cleveland Guardians, and game one was at Yankee Stadium. The matchup was between Babe Ruth and Shane Bieber. Shane got the best of Babe in the first, having him ground out to shortstop and both sides being tied at 0-0. We jump back in in the bottom of the third with Yankees having a 1-0 lead, but Babe is not having the best of games with grounding out to first base. And somehow the Yankees don't score ever again in this game and the Guardians pull out the game 2-1. This isn't how you want to start a series. In game two with Rodon on the mound, the Yankees are in a must-win situation. They can't head to Cleveland down 2-0. And at this point, pitchers are just avoiding Babe Ruth, getting the walk in the first inning, leading to Judge batting next. The Yankees do pull out the W, though, winning 6-3 with Stanton having a home run and four RBI game. Babe stayed relatively quiet, but the Yankees headed to Cleveland with the series tied 1-1. But sadly, the Guardians pull out the W the next two games, now leading the series 3-1 and putting the Yankees on brink of elimination. In Game 5, the Guardians would have their best pitcher up in Shane Bieber. Man, look at these stats for the postseason. A .83 ERA? We should be talking about him, not Babe. We jump into the fourth to see that Shane is having an insane game, getting Babe to fly out and having a 1-0 lead going into the fifth. But in the sixth, Babe has something to say about it. Cutting the lead to one and hitting a solo shot to get the Yankees on the board. Are the Yankees going to come back 
Or are they just going to lay down and let the Guardians head to the World Series? And in the 8th, we see that DJ LeMahieu thinks he's Ricky Henderson and it costs the Yankees big time. Getting out at 3rd with only 1 out, now having 2 outs, is not huge when you have your best hitter up in Babe Ruth. Babe does fly out though and it ends the 8th for the Yankees. It looks like they might go down. We jump back in the ninth to see that the Guardians are still leading 2-1 and are on the brink of World Series. And with that, they are headed to the World Series. The Guardians defeat the Yankees to head to the World Series, and Babe is now out of the playoffs. Absolutely insane, considering nobody would even have the Guardians in the playoffs in general. Babe did show out though in the year 2023, winning almost every award and having some insane stats. Do you guys think he would do that if he played in today's game? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the past video we did where we forced Mike Trout to win a World Series.